cinematographer, we would make our best foot forward. This is how we want it to look. Then they would come in and sign off on it. And usually that's a short session. You just run through the show. And, uh, and they'll, they'll say, oh, love it. Or, or uh, you know, that's supposed to be earlier morning. Could you just cool it off a little bit? Or mm -hmm. that's more sunset. And we shot in the morning. I know it doesn't match, but can you change it? I was uh, showing um, your demo reel to my daughter today. We actually calculated your movies on IMDb. Do you know how many? No. It's like <laughs> 77, I think. Wow. Hey, well, that's probably so only like a quarter of them that make it to the IMDb. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for, I guess, since about 94 when I became a colorist. In the past almost 30 years or 30 years of, of a career, I've worked on pretty much every type of show that, that could come through Canada. What's like the next exciting thing for, for Red Lab that's happening right now? The biggest hurdle was building a Dolby Atmos uh, theater. Mm -hmm. And that theater for Dolby Atmos is more than just a software license or a new monitor. You have to put in 35 speakers in a surround area within the room that covers mm -hmm. the entire room. And uh, uh, so we did. And, and I think we put the best in Toronto in. How long does it usually take to, to call it correct? An episode. Um, on average, on any you know decent over million dollar feature film, we'd probably like to have five days. Uh, so four thousand a day times five would be twenty thousand dollars color correction. That's kind of a good area to start in. Mm -hmm. So that's color correction. Yes. Right there, right. Audio thirty, color correction. 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. The approximately we're looking at uh, um, like what? 70 to 100? Yeah. 70 to 100. Yes.